Miracle Boy Boxing. I am your host, host and Cruz. Ladies and gentlemen, Xander Zayas returns to the ring this Saturday, September 15th on ESPN. The co-main event to Venado Lopez defending his title against Joette Gonzalez. Now, Xander Zayas, we all know him. Um, if you haven't been following him, where have you been, right? Xander Zayas, one of the top prospects in boxing today. Um, and likely, I think he's a contender already. He's no longer a prospect, in my opinion. You know, 16 and 0, 10 knockouts, you know, very skilled, very talented, doesn't waste his punches, knows how to place them, um, knows where to place them. Uh, fights like a veteran, like a veteran, only 21. He just made 21 the other day. Um, and he's still getting that man strength. Which is crazy. Uh, started at welterweight. Didn't last too long because his body was growing rapidly. Um, now he's a, now he fights at 154. And he's been there for a little bit now. I think he's going to stay there for a bit, for some time. Until he becomes champion and, and accomplish a little more stuff at 154. So, Xander Dyers, man. One a top amateur standout. Over 130 amateur bouts. Uh, winning, winning 11 national titles even the 2018 U.S. National Championships. So, decorated amateur career from spanning from 2007 to 2018. So, this kid has been fighting for a long time. He's a pro now, 16-0, 10 knockouts, 21 years old, sharp, accurate, uh, mixes, up well to, mixes it up well to the head and body, uh, excellent IQ, um, Getting and be getting better and better every fight. That's one, and that's the next thing you want to see in a fighter too. That's that's on the rise. You know, every fight you want to see something different. You want to see something. You want to see an improvement. And that's what we usually get. That's what we normally get from Zayas. You know, the guy. You know, he's been fighting some veterans. He's been fighting Elias Espada, Alexis Salazar, Ronald Cruz. Um, it's about that he stopped in five, Ronald Cruz, Alexis Salazar, he won decisions with them. But he put on some pretty good performance. In the last fight against Ronald Cruz, you know, he was he was sharp. Scored a knockdown, busting up Cruz with uppercuts, body shots, hooks. Uh, Zayas is on the rise to start him. He's likely the next Puerto Rican, the next great Puerto Rican champion. And, uh... The future is bright for him, so now he can be fighting on the co main as a co main of the Venado Lopez versus Joy Gonzalez fight on ESPN Saturday night. It'll be his first fight in Texas, so he'll be in a Mexican, he'll be, he'll be in uncharted territories, territory, he'll be in a Mexican, uh, area. You know, majority of the crowd is going to be Mexican, Mexican American. You know, it's Texas, and he's fighting the Mexican. So it's definitely war. Mexico, Puerto Rico, he'll be fighting Roberto Valenzuela Jr., a guy with 20, let's see, 24 wins, 4 losses, 20 knockouts. So, yeah, he got 4 losses, but his knockout percentage is very high. You know, he's got 24 wins, and out of the 24 wins, 20 of those have come by knockout. So... Regards of Zayas is very talented. Regards of how talented Zayas is. Matter of fact, he's 21 wins with 20 knockouts. Four losses. So regards of how skilled Zayas is, right? And how talented he is and how heavy of a favorite he is in this fight. It's boxing. You gotta be careful. You gotta protect yourself at all times. Protect that chin at all times. Because a guy like Robert based on his resume, Roberto, he can put your lights up at any given time. Because when you have a 21 to 20 KO knockout percentage like that, record, your power is real. Your power is real. So Zayas got to be careful at all times, you know, in this fight. But Zayas expected to win, expected expecting another tremendous performance um we'll see what happens 
You know, these Mexicans are always tough, durable. You can count them out, and you can't overlook any of them. You know, they, they come to fight, and Roberto is in Texas. A lot of Mexicans are going to be behind him, and we'll see what happens in this fight. So Zayas will be the co-main to this event. Sanders Zayas, bright young kid, always with a smile, personality, top-notch, A1, someone you, 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 you would want to be around every day, uh, very positive. But when that bell rings, man, he's mean, he lets those hands go with bad intentions, and he means business. And this Saturday, is going to be business. Xander Zayas versus Roberto Venezuela Jr. co-main event of Venado Lopez versus Joe Gonzalez fight, championship fight. Welcome back to your host, Jose Cruz, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.